So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology, nothing phone 2A versus iPhone 13 speed test. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, go. And if I sound a little bit nasally, it's cause I'm a little bit under the weather right now. So bear with me, you know, the, the weather's been fluctuating here. So definitely messes with the sinuses, but you could see right here, nothing phone 2A is, you know, it's a budget phone, but the iPhone 13 at this point is actually a budget phone. It's not a budget phone, but the price, if you find it used is almost budget level. So you could kind of decide between these two if you were picking up a cheaper option. The Nothing Phone 2A actually booted up faster than the iPhone 13. Now, last time I did a video from the Nothing Phone 2A, it actually had an update. But since that video, we have another update. This phone has only been out about a month and we already have quite a few updates. You can see we're on the February patch, but if we go down here to about phone, nothing updated this to nothing phone OS 2.5.4.a. And this brought more bug fixes and more stability improvements, as well as some camera and saturation improvements. But overall, you know, they continue to optimize and make this phone even better. Also, they're gonna be having this uh, new project where well, they have it already where you're gonna be able to help them design their next phone. So pretty cool stuff. Now the iPhone 13 over here is on the latest iOS 17.4. Now the iPhone 13 is on the latest iOS 17.4.1, which is quite nice. Latest version on a phone that came out two and a half years ago. So really nice here. Super pretty much smooth day to day, which is generally navigating iOS, but it is on 60 Hertz. Over here, nothing phone, definitely one of the smoothest phones at this price point. And when you compare like the nothing phone two to flagships, that's also very smooth for its price point. So this is an area where nothing is not uh, messing around. It's very smooth in that respect. So day-to-day -day regular performance, really good on both. All right guys, so everything is closed out for both gadgets here. Let's go ahead and begin with calculator. You could see faster for iOS. Let's head up out of there. Let's go into clock. You could see faster on the nothing phone. That could be because there's more alarms over here. Let's go to stopwatch. Let's go to timers. And let's go to clocks over here. Head up out of there. You could see nothing has really good gestures. Let's go into app store, play store. And you could see, I think that was a nothing. And you know what, this is my wife's phone over here. She lets me use it for the speed test. But I was playing, I was setting it up by her, the Nothing Phone 2A yesterday, and she said, I like that phone. And I'm like, that's because it has the same shape and kind of look as the iPhone. She's like, I don't know, it looks good, I like it. That's really rare, because she don't really like Android phones. So that's saying something. That's saying Nothing's making a pretty nice phone. Let's go into games, because even if some iPhone users think it looks good, it's pretty tough to get iPhone users to like, um, and I mean serious iPhone users, ones that never change to like Android phones. Let's head up out of there. Let's go into Best Buy on both. And you can see, I think that was the nothing phone. Let's go into Products, faster on the right. Computers, faster on the right. Two-in-ones, faster on the right. So the A15 Bionic still quite snappy there with an application. Let's go into Groupon. Faster on the left to load. We'll go over here to categories. And we're gonna go ahead and do things to do. And you'll see that's faster on the left. See, once in, nothing phone 2A, very nice. Let's go into Amazon. And you can see a little bit faster on the left. So this is probably what this phone performs like. Nothing Phone 2A, a little bit faster there, performs like a flagship of a couple years ago. Let's go into Starbucks, three, two, go. Faster there on the right. And I'm not gonna make that a 100% true statement because in certain areas a flagship from a couple years ago, especially more premium ones, probably could still beat this phone, like an S22 Ultra, for example, or S21 Ultra. 
could probably still beat this phone. But your base iPhone 13s, you know, your base uh, S20, what is it, S22, S21 FEs, like phones like that, probably around the same. Let's go into Subway Surfers. And you could see right here, quicker, oh, that was on the iPhone, so in the games, pulls ahead. But here at this um, same price point, well, I'm, I'm talking US price point, you can find a 13 for 340 or so, second hand. Let's go into, all right, I had to make a quick cut because the um, Dead Trigger 2 wasn't updated for nothing. Let's go ahead and open it again, three, two, go. But I was saying the iPhone 13s, um, you can find them for price points that are pretty close to a new Nothing Phone 2A. Nothing Phone 2A doesn't give you, you know, probably as good of a camera, but it's still pretty dang good. But it gives you a much bigger display, bigger battery, longer battery. Let's go into Temper Run 2. And that's first to the Nothing Phone 2A. So let's go ahead and hit play and you'll see once in they both can play pretty darn good overall i still would prefer it on the nothing phone 2a smaller punch hole bigger display still oled i would prefer that let's go into free fire and three two go and see what happens here and also keep in mind the nothing phone 2a boosts its performance specifically for games so wouldn't be surprised. You can see that the Nothing Phone 2A actually hit that one first, so that was nice. Nice performance there. All right, guys, so let's head into PUBG 3 to go. And this one usually wins out on the iPhone, but let's see if the Nothing Phone can keep up here in this test. So the iPhone seems to be in the lead, but will it get there first? And we'll have to see here. But here's the thing. Both of these can play this game pretty well. That was pretty close. Almost identical. You don't usually see an identical performance on the PUBG. We're not going to hit start because that's lobby based. So it's going to have to find the, uh, you know, a match. And then basically we'll have to see that it will just be like depending on who gets to the match first. Okay, so let's head into Asphalt 9 and 3, 2, go. And we'll see which one could get there first. Now, it looks to me like the iPhone might be in the lead. Yes, it is. Only by a little bit. So, only by a little bit. So, we're not seeing major jumps. Let's go to Geekbench 6. We're not seeing major jumps. I was faster than the right. On the iPhone, let's go into 3D Mark. But the Nothing Phone is definitely behind there. Is um, It's doing okay by comparison. Let's go into the uh, speed test. That net here, you could see faster on the right. So again, this is the budget. Let's go into InShot. This is the budget version of the Nothing Phone, and um, it's near. It's nearly as good as a flagship iPhone from a year or two ago. So okay, more like two years ago, but still, a two-year-old iPhone is not a slow phone. So that shows that the Nothing Phone for the price is a pretty nice value. Um, the iPhone 13 is still holding its own though, um, and definitely needs more RAM at this point. So you want to upgrade to. 8 gig of RAM iPhone if you want more RAM. But overall, I think it was pretty close here with the iPhone. I would say a hair in the lead. I would give it the win overall. It was just a little bit faster. But the Nothing Phone had a few applications um, and some of them snapped open quicker, especially in some of the base third party apps. But in the games, the iPhone seemed to pull ahead in a, quite a few more. Um, overall, both of them are very fast, very nice um, for this price point right now. These are not the latest and greatest, but they're both. Um, pretty decent all right guys so let's go ahead and go through the applications here to see how the nothing phone performs 12 gigs of ram and you could see a very nice performance especially okay we gotta x that out especially by comparison to some other cheaper phones out there like a samsung a cheaper samsung phone doesn't have like quite as nice of animations on the reloads so very good here. You still have to do a double swipe on the Nothing Phone 2A, which I wish they'd find a way to get rid of that to make it smoother. But overall, it's not really reloading much of anything here. That was a little slow. Let's go up here. But overall, 
That's not bad for a phone that costs this price brand new. All right, so let's take a look at iPhone 13 and you'll see, very nice. I love the way the iOS animations look. They're just beautiful. They're like the best. Did that reload? Yep, that game reloaded though. Still the animation looks clean. Why are we getting some focus peaking issues? Come on, what is this, 2020? Yeah, my camera is from 2019 actually. I probably should get a 2024 camera. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. And yeah, iPhone is reloading everything now. Subway Surfers, what the heck? Yep, I'm not gonna wait for these again. Four gigs of RAM, it's game over. It's time to upgrade if you want more RAM. You can see it can still pause these uh, regular apps pretty good in the background. Best Buy just said, shut up, Nick. And you'll see Best Buy with a reload, a basic app like a electronic store app. You can see in games or in the app store. See, these regular apps were fine, but stuff that actually required resources, a lot of reloads here for the iPhone 13 um, with that four gigs of RAM. Again, her phone is a regular everyday user, so she's got a lot of memory and storage and system resources being built up on here. Um, but see, that's where the RAM really matters because when it gets built up, you need to have more RAM to go ahead and keep everything running smooth. So the iPhone 13 is actually done with the Geekbench 6 test way ahead of the Nothing Phone 2A. And while I like to say they're pretty close in performance, I'm talking about opening apps, day-to-day, -day, real world stuff. You can see when you start pushing the CPU and you start pushing them into their, you know, stronger, where it actually takes advantage, a little bit stronger, the iPhones finish so much faster. Geekbench usually goes to iPhones, but I'll be back when the Nothing Phone 2A is done. But I just wanted to point that out, that when you really start pushing the CPU, you'll start to see the differences between a flagship and a budget phone. But in the real world, as you've seen in my prior app opening, the stuff you're going to open every day and then sub menus and stuff like that, the difference is much smaller. So we'll have to see how it does here and then we'll have to see how it does in 3D Mark. All right, iPhone 13 fans, here's your moment. Doubles the score on the single core and doubles it on the multi-core. That would make sense considering the iPhone 13 costs twice the price. Let's go into 3D Mark and let's go over to Wildlife Extreme. One thing to note though, when I'm making this speed test is that one thing you won't see in this speed test is that the Nothing Phone 2A being a budget phone, when you first turn it on, by the way, takes a little while to get warmed up. Secondly, there are a little bit more stutters day to day on the Nothing Phone 2A that you don't see in the speed test um, versus the iPhone, which is a little bit more consistent. However, the RAM really boosts the performance for the Nothing Phone 2A and their RAM booster and their extra gaming things allow it to perform quite nice for its price. Um, the 13 though, if you go to like a 14 or a 15 model, it kind of works out those RAM issues and it's definitely much better. But we'll go ahead and just see what we get here in the frame rates. I expect the iPhone to win here as well when in actual frame rates. Um, that's where budget phones are a little bit behind. Um, but just day to day launching apps was pretty close. Let's go ahead and check um, the graphics in a second. Okay, and here in Wildlife Extreme, where we'll be testing the graphics, the iPhone doubles it once again. So 2423 and a 14.5 FPS, and then we have 1151 and a 6.89 FPS. So while the Nothing Phone 2A can game, yeah, when you start playing graphically intensive games, um, while they'll perform okay, they're not gonna touch the iPhone 13. Um, so you can see 23% of devices. I think it'd be nice if nothing launched a phone that is like um, probably around $499, a little bit more than this, but like has a Snapdragon from last year or something. Kind of like what OnePlus did with the 12R. Um, so they have like three different models, like their lowest end, which will be the 2A, then like a medium end, and then the higher end, you know, regular flagship performer. That would be quite nice. Um, but anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here because if we do a video render, clearly nothing's not gonna win um, in those more graphically, or more, not graphically, but more powerful intensive tasks. So Nothing Phone does okay for your day-to-day. -day. It's a really good value. 
um, but the iPhone 13 I would say overall still took the win even though this phone is two and a half years old so you got to think about when you're purchasing a phone do you want um, a lot of value with like the size the battery the screen you know having a lot of tech features but you're willing to sacrifice a little bit on the CPU performance that's where the nothing phone um, really shines but if you're looking for you know you can take some sacrifices and you but you want a powerful phone still that's where like a two and a half year old flagship still stands out let me know your thoughts down below in the comments thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already i'll catch you on the next episode nick here be sure to be well and peace